Hello and welcome to this video where we will take a look at how ClickSense can be used to publish MQTT messages. My name is Jöran Sander, I'm the lead developer of Butler, which is an open source tool for extending uh, ClickSense with various useful features, among others MQTT connectivity. So MQTT is it's a publish subscribe protocol. It's a message-based protocol often used in Internet of Things and telco industries. It's very lightweight, so it runs on the smallest um, embedded controller, computer, Raspberry Pis, all the way up to really big systems. Uh, it's useful because it's, um, it has features such as guaranteed delivery of messages, and you can send messages both ways, both upstream and downstream, and you can both publish a message and subscribe to topics. Topics is an important uh, concept when it comes to MQTT because there's a hierarchical uh, structure where messages are published to topics and you can also then subscribe to topics or topic trees. In this case we will um, take a look at a um, sense app um, in the upper right here. The app is very basic. Um, it does um, a call to nice trace just to get some uh, better tracing um, when the app, app reload starts. It publishes an MQTT message. And here we see that publishing a message is very, very simple. Just call a post to MQTT uh, subroutine with the topic as the first parameter and the message to be sent as the second parameter. Next step is that we load some data, uh, just some dummy data, and then we wrap up with a call to post MQTT again, uh, where we basically say that the reload is done, everything is fine. So this uh, method here, this function here, post to MQTT, let's take a look at that. Uh, it looks like this, and this is where the REST call is done to the Butler API. So Butler exposes um, a REST API endpoint that does the MQTT posting for us. But we have to provide uh, the right parameters and everything, and uh, to make this simpler, there is a helper function uh, that can be used. And this helper function is, is also available in the GitHub repository for Butler as, a, uh, as part of a larger QVS file. Uh, the init section doesn't contain much, just uh, the usual stuff and uh, a couple of variables telling, uh, stating where to find Butler, the IP and the port. And on the left here we have um, uh, an MQTT client that's set up to listen to uh, or subscribe to this topic here. Um, it's set up to listen to everything in the Butler subtree. Butler in the root and everything below it should um, be captured by the MQTT client. And at the bottom we have Butler running, or rather soon at least. Let's start it like that. And we have Butler running and let's do uh, an app reload and see what happens. So the app reloaded, fine, as expected. Um, we have the nice trace message up here. Uh, these messages here are basically the um, main part of the script with a couple of posts to to MQTT and um, then we create an indexes and the usual stuff. So what happened then? Well in the butter logs we have a couple of lines here corresponding to the two calls that we made. And uh, those should then, of course, also show up in the client. So let's see. Um, there is a new set of topics here. Let's open this up. We have Butler 5.0 demo reloading status. So Butler 5.0 demo reloading status. And here are the messages. Um, we can look at the history and see that uh, it started off with the reload started message. And then 10 milliseconds, or is it 10, one second later, um, we have a reload done 
here. That pretty much corresponds to uh, what we expect. And that's it. That's how you can post MQTT messages from Butler. Oh, sorry, from ClickSense load scripts. Thanks for watching.